What is something non-sexual that your partner does that really turns you on? Immediate straight face when she's shocked slash confused. Always kills me. Is your partner Borat? Wa wa wee wa. Now, that's adorable. Being kind and rubbing my hand with his finger. Especially when they hit that pressure point during horrible crampy period week. I remember that was the whole shtick in HS whenever the girls would be cramping out the boys would ask, Hey can I hold your hand, smiley face? But yeah, it's nice when your boyfriend just offers to do it just so you can feel a little better and get some relief. It shows that they really care. Edit, I'm genuinely shocked at all the questions. This was such a well-known thing when I was younger. But anyway, for the unaware, the pressure point is located right in the center of the palm. It's really amazing how it works. As long as you're pressing your thumb on the right spot, the relief is almost immediate. And it was just a humble flirtation tactic the boys would use. We desperately need more info here. What pressure point? Oh great, another important spot on a girl's body I can't find. User button my backslash A, don't leave the gang hanging. Come on, tell us. Reddit link. He loves to wash my hair. Sometimes he'll jump in the shower with me and the way he so tenderly makes sure to get every strand, even behind my ears. It makes me feel like the most adored and precious thing on the planet. Is your partner named Charles Boyle, perchance? I mean, it is the most intimate thing you can do with your partner. Oh no, someone's ear is in danger of having hair brushed behind it. Whispering something in my ear, especially when we're amongst others. Omelette du fromage edit, thank you to all my guilders. Completely unnecessary but I'm very appreciative. Splash. This comment made me choke up my water. Original poster replies. This is the same for me, she could literally be telling me what we need to buy and her whisper is so sultry she makes my hair stand up. Her, we need to get dog food penis, shvive it homie that's all you had to say. This thread has me dying. 10 tenths reply right here. Playing with her hair. Her hair is super long and pretty, and she'll braid it while we're watching TV or brushes it and I love it. Not even playing with her hair, but at the moment just seeing my wife with her hair down is enough. 99% of the day it's in a ponytail since she's still breastfeeding our baby, and he likes to pull hair. Seeing her hair down for like 5 minutes the other day was just so nice. I love the absent-minded hair twirling. When he laughs at my jokes I feel like the funniest woman in the world. Are they dad jokes? Are there mom jokes? Surely I didn't just make this up? My ex would take my hoodies and wear them with her PJs. I don't know why, she would insist on my hoodies and watching her bundle up on the couch all comfy cozy was just too adorable. The hoodie thing is mostly for the smell. And because they're so big and cozy. Cooking. I love when he makes me dinner and it turns out amazing. That's all well and good, but I think we need to sit down and have a little chat about your username. At least it wasn't Donkey. If Donkey's partner finds out he cheated you're both going to become toast. Indeed, what a degenerate. I got into my first serious relationship about a month ago. Not only does she cook, she asks for requests, then makes them perfectly. She gets a free back massage every time. Gardening. She comes in the house all sweaty and covered in dirt, her hair a bit disheveled, and she smells like wet earth. Plus watching her bent over the vegetable garden gives me plenty of amazing views. I took up gardening this year. And I learned something about myself. I effing hate gardening. Just roll around in the dirt and wear a low-cut top and tight yoga pants. Same results, less weeding. Same results, more concerned neighbors. So, you're into dirty women? 
Wonder what percentage of Redditors are scratching their heads right now thinking, what does she mean she heard the modem? I don't know about you Mark, but I've watched a lot of porn. I know exactly what hearing the modem means. I'm more confused by how does a computer get stuck by lightning. Back in the day, we didn't have surge protectors for all our appliances. If your house or a nearby power line was hit by lightning, you'd have a surge and it could fry sensitive electronics. I remember being advised to unplug things like computers and air conditioners before a storm. Nowadays nearly every power strip comes with a surge protector built in, and also computer electronics are a bit less finicky in general. For me, it's when my girlfriend puts in a lot of effort to have a comfy night in. For her it's apparently when I put my arm on the back of her seat to back up the car, or when I have to reach up high to grab something, back muscles, I guess? Edit, this got a lot of attention overnight. I asked my girlfriend, and she said that yes, it's my back slash arm muscles that she really enjoys. She did say she likes my butt, but she basically started drooling imagining me in a t-shirt opening like, a bag of chips. No. Not back muscles you sweet summer child. Dude what the F is up with this thread and people just straight up refusing to answer questions or give any detail laughing my butt off. Aw, let him believe it's his back muscles. It's a belief so sweet in its naivete that I'm falling for him myself. When he does something, and he's proud of himself, he always looks at me or gets my attention, and he just reminds me of a little kid who needs to be praised. It's adorable though, I love it. It means my approval matters to him. His cute smile when I compliment him. Was about to say wholesome but I remembered what the title said still, kind of is. Knee socks. Thigh socks are better JN every way. Now I'm curious. What is it about knee socks, other than that you can't tell I haven't shaved my legs in a while? Silhouette of the sexy legs of a woman and the mixture of silhouette and skin that knee socks allow one to see. Also works with thigh high socks and tights. Love the, for lack of a better description, little fat roll above the thigh highs. I think it's about a skin tight garment highlighting and accentuating the legs. On a side note, anyone know where a plus size bitch can get high socks that actually fit over their legs? Thundathighs.com is absolutely fantastic. I have a bunch of long socks but these are the only ones I can pull up to my butt. I'm 5 feet 7 inches and about a size 12, and these socks have tons of room to stretch still. They are designed specifically for plus sized women. Me. Socks. When he stands. Oh my god. He can just stand there with his hands in his pockets, waiting for me. It's. Yes. It really is the best. A lot of male Redditors going to be thrilled to find out about this impossibly low bar. Cries in wheelchair. No, it'll rust. Laughing out loud that was one of the realest laughs the internet gave me. Being an awesome dad. He plays with our son, the little one's face lights up like a Christmas tree, they laugh like crazy. I observe from the other side of the room, my heart gets filled with love. But in my mind we are all alone, and I'm stripping him down already. Good dads are super sexy. Being an awesome dad for a second I was confused as I got down to stripping him down and I was very concerned laughing out loud. What? Dad's getting blowjobs for changing diapers? I got to back claim this for my wife. When she does physical work or workout. She positively glows after and I want to put the kids to bed or send them to grandma's or just turn the TV on real loud. Wouldn't you prefer to have sex with her rather than watch loud TV? On that note, the audio mixing on Netflix is horrid can't hear crap during conversations, but explosions are too damn loud. I'm actively adjusting volume levels throughout the show like a goddamn DJ. Don't mind me just a single guy scrolling through this thread and not jealous though huh? I literally started crying after reading some of the comments. Username checks out. 
Same here. Hey! Are you free this week? Hey dude! Thanks for saving my life the other day, just walked into the burning building and dragging me out like it was nothing, I am forever grateful. Hey man, just wanted to say thanks again for letting me take a spin in your Lambo last week, was super generous of you. Absent-mindedly playing with their hair. When he's working on my car. He's all dirty and rolling around on the creeper. I just want to hop on top and ride him into the sunset. Like damn baby how you are you so finey. Bout to crash on the way home just to watch him work on it. Edit, for the record, I do not use my phone while driving. We've had creeper fun before. Pro tip, watch your hair and the wheels. When she just looks at me and smiles. My fiancé is beyond beautiful to me, all the damn time, and it doesn't matter if she's dressed to the nines or in her pajamas with a sloppy ponytail, the second she smiles at me the rest of the world falls away. My girl's too hot, and I'm one lucky son of a bitch to have her in my life. Edit, no award speech here. Just wanted to bulk reply to a few comments. I do tell her this every day, we have a really healthy relationship and communicate these kinds of things to each other all the time. Thanks for all the love and support. And for those of you trying to detract from how much I love my fiancé with negativity like it won't last or whatever, I'm sorry that your lives are so unfulfilling you have to try to take away other people's happiness. I hope you find what I have, despite your self-loathing you deserve it. Aw oh, that's so cute. Make sure she knows this. Verbally. Read her this post if you haven't said this out loud yet. She does this look where she slightly tilts her head and bites her lower lip and it drives me crazy. Right after he takes a shower. The wet hair and towel look. So tempting to grab the towel and go yank. Cries in male pattern baldness. The whole nonchalantly leaning on a door frame and rolled sleeves thing. I love muscle on a guy, and subtly showing that off is so hot. The I just got home from work kind of throwing yourself on the bed. No I can't explain it. The sound she makes when she takes the first bite of a meal I made her. Don't know why, it just drives me nuts. Exist. That cheeky grin. Seriously it's all it takes. Ha ha. You see, that's where the trouble began. That smile. That damn smile. Pays the water bill. Super hot. Is this what they mean when they say getting her wet? When he pushes the shopping cart, specifically around Target, laughing out loud. That crap makes me want to jump on him. Basically anything simple and domestic. When my girlfriend wears any of my clothes. I don't know what it is but F it drives me crazy. She honestly has a better sense of style than I do and I love her in her outfits as well. But the other night she was wearing my shorts and shirt and I just melted. He has a cat and will periodically proclaim are you a good boy? Yes. To his cat. Out of nowhere. He also pays a ton of attention to my cats when he's at my place. I love that he just genuinely cares about other critters. Grabs anything off the bottom shelf of the fridge. When he puts a pencil behind his ear just before starting to mark out something DIY related. That just bites lip on. Men who build, fix and make things are incredibly sexy. Operating heavy equipment and driving trucks. He worked for a municipality so when I was around town and see him in a loader or truck. Oh my god, getting tingly just thinking about it. He also worked for local farmers and drove tractor and combine. Crazy sexy. Wearing a long t-shirt by itself. Shirt cocking. It's the most vulnerable feeling outfit. Just seeing him walk. I can't explain it. His broad shoulders swaying is just really sexy. 
also watching him be really focused on something like building stuff or working to the computer. How he focuses on something for so long still amazes my ADHD brain. Drives a stick shift. Mine said that they get turned on when they watched me play the piano slash keyboard. Odd, but I'll take it. It means you're skilled with your fingers. Solving things. Particularly coding problems. It takes smarts and it just looks really effing cool. Use big words I read in books unironically. Yoga. The outfit and the positions are so hot. Massages. My guy will give me a massage and rub my upper back neck. He's not trying anything frisky, he is just trying to get rid of any knots I may have. He gets me all loosened up and the blood starts flowing right down to my key girl parts. And since I am enjoying being pampered, I am making some very appreciative sounds which gets him all hot and bothered. When I am all loosey-goosey I will lean back into him and I notice that he is like oh hey, hello if you catch my drift. Also when he grabs his sons, cats, and is being all super cute cat daddy. He will hold them in his lap and scratch and kiss their heads and they mash their fuzzy little faces into his beard and mustache. Knowing she might exist one day turns me on so much. Wear shorts. My husband is this huge fat guy but has amazingly ripped calves. He also usually wears dress pants, so when I see his sexy calves and shorts, I get the vapors. Just doing cute vaguely domestic crap, we don't live together so it doesn't happen a lot but it just makes me want to be close with them. The term partner is reality stretched here, it's more like a crush, but my colleague at work has emoji eyes when she's laughing. Like that tear-jerking laughing smiley. I love it. Other way around. She really likes watching me cook, and also when I am deep in concentration with my work or with school. You, deeply concentrating her, am just going to F that up. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, Please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.